a raft of wandering otters and today Paul and I are <sighs> coping with some anger and stress um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go fly a kite and make a sandcastle do you have the bucket in here Yep. and make a sandcastle all right so join us and come see what we see. Thank you. You want to assemble the last bit? Okay, you want me to do that here or when we get at the beach? Right here. Okay, excuse me. Hey, you want to see Paul's kite? You going to hold it up for him? Sure. There you go. Look at that. See, we're going to put on a happy face. I like it. What do you what? think, Paul? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, hey, a little correction here. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, the beach that is closest to Municipal Wharf 2. And there's Speed Racer. That's uh, a street camper that I see around here all the time. Street camping's not legal, yet there are people that seem to get away with it. <laughs> go figure. So, to the Wharf Beach. Where's your shovel? In the tail. Ah. Beautiful view. Check. Flying our kite. Check. Digging in the sand, making sand castles. Check. Oh, and our kite just got grounded. Check. Kite eating sand. All right, this dog is just too adorable out here with uh, its daddy. Where'd the ball go? Where'd the ball? Where's the ball? Where is it? Where'd it go? Where? Where's the ball? Okay. Oh, I see it. I see the ball. <laughs> The uh, kite is not behaving well, or the wind isn't one of the others, but I'm doing my best to try to get it back up in the air.
I'll use wet sand because it performs well. It packs well, you mean? You can build with it? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. And doesn't have to dry. I get it, okay. Yeah. And is that like a little moat around your uh, sand castle there? Yeah, because last time I tried to make a moat, uh -huh. the water absorbed was it absorbed. I get it. I get that. We were watching Dunkirk today. Paul keeps saying that he wants to be a soldier, and then we were watching Dunkirk. Uh, wow, what would it be like to be out here in the sand and have a uh, plane shooting at us? Not fun, I'd wager. I guess that's one way to learn a little bit of respect for soldiers around the world. So, Dad, you want to build your own? Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to get my hands all dirty because I have to handle the camera. Here, what the ocean has rendered. Maybe some of our sciencey friends can tell us what this is. It's a gelatinous thingamabob. I want to say it's a jellyfish. It probably is a jellyfish. See what happens. Swim away. Go ahead. No dice. No. I don't know what that is. Not something I see every day. At first I thought it might be a crab or a turtle. No telling what it is. The ocean has rendered. <clears throat> Swim away, jellyfish. Or whatever the heck you are. is over here having himself a bath. Or maybe he's hunting. I can't make it out. I think maybe he's hunting. Getting little bugs or something. Good job, Perch. Way to be part of the ecosystem. Our jellyfish friend, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm about 80% sure that's a jellyfish of some kind. For one thing, it's kind of jelly-like. It's kind of playing dead here, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's not playing. Maybe it's had its last sting while alive, and now somebody will come along, pick it up, and get stung. Maybe. R.I.P. Jellyfish. All right, there's Paul flying a kite. And of course, here is Paul's achievement here on the ground. So, air and surf today. By the way, the kite and the bucket both came from a Dollar Tree. Boom. For one dollar, all this fun. Well, two dollars. <laughs> shop on a budget. That's right, you can have fun on a budget. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. I have a little business for you. I have a little business for you. What is that business, son? We can make people fly their kites. To help people fly their kites. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Kite assistance, just like there's chain assistance when you're traveling in snow and ice. Got it. And he'll give us twenty dollars 
it will be costing us $20. Uh-huh. Hey, are we calmed down yet? They'll give us $20 for the whole assistance. Oh, okay. No extra charge. I got gotcha. you. So we can save our money. Oh, right. Yeah, we're, we're going to save our money for a trip to uh, Knott's Berry Farm. That's correct. I know what we can use for a donation bucket. What's that? That! Oh, yeah. That red bucket right there? Yeah. All right, in comes the fishing boat right now. That looks like a commercial fishing boat. It's flying high. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's uh, a little, looks a little heavy, so maybe they caught a lot of fish. They still catch sardines. They still catch sardines. Investigating this, my jellyfish friend here, stranded on the beach. Makes me want to sing a song. Stranded on the beach, can't get my tentacles in the water. Yeah. Paul doesn't like it when I make up songs. I make up lyrics to songs. Hey Dad, I have a plan. Hey Dad, I have a plan. Bring it back into the water. Raft of Wandering Otters, thank you for joining us today. Hope you got to see something of interest for yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for calming down with us. Is it time to our in? I think so, son. I think it stayed in the air for too long. There's our jellyfish friend right there or rotting jellyfish well we gotta for its sake I hope it either is out of its misery or uh, gonna revive itself and go back out into the ocean who knows it's an invertebrate so what it's an invertebrate so what well, now we're kind of getting into a uh, genus, uh, wait a minute, phylum prejudice here, right? Yeah. We're phylum chordata, yo. Phylum chordata. Don't care about you invertebrates. That's your problem, yo. We're street tough like that, beach tough. Got it? Got it, yo. Hey, Dad. Yes. doing a drone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> perch, 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 perch. Pixie. Pixie, perch. <laughs>